Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding patients with the condition and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy. Let's jump right in. We are given a table called patients with three different columns, patient ID, patient name and conditions. Patient ID is the primary key for this table. Conditions contain zero or more code separated by spaces. Okay. This table contains information of the patients in the hospital. We are asked to write a SQL query to report the patient ID, patient name, all conditions of the patients who have type 1 diabetes and the code for type 1 diabetes always starts with diab1 prefix. Okay, the order of the result doesn't matter. Okay, let's go through this example, right? So here, if you see uh, who all condition like where all conditions start with like the uh, condition starts with dive one prefix right so here nothing here dive one right so bob so this should be in the output then also acne and then dive one right so this is also a uh dive one diabetes right so bob and george here you have diab but you don't have one right so dive one it should start with diab one prefix right so bob and george should be in the output and that is what we have right so basically what you need to do is you from this table you need to keep only certain rows right and you you, you need to use the like operator right to match certain values or certain certain strings in the conditions column right so let's start developing this query right so from this table called patients what you need to do is where conditions right conditions like it says uh, it should start with dive one prefix right so there can be two conditions right either you like the very first word right is it can be dive one and something 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 like it does not matter right so for example this one right this row now there can be another one right so this this second row that it could be anything before but then the one of the words could have the prefix dive one right so both the conditions should be met right so if you just write right so let's say if i write where conditions like diab one and then percentage sign so basically after this anything comes does not matter as long as the word starts with diab one right so now here this these cases will be matched but this will not match right so because it says your string should start with dive one right so this will not match so to include these cases as well you need to do the another you know you need to include another condition or your condition can also be right the conditions like that it is anything like it does not matter then there is a space and then you have dive one right and after that anything else can also come right so it will take care of these cases as well so these are the two possibilities because this here we say type 1 diversity is always starts with dive 1 prefix so once we have this in the output you need to have all the columns so you basically just write select star right so select star and you don't need to order by anything so yeah this looks good let me go ahead and run this to see what happens Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So if this passes all the test cases and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All we need to do was, you know, identify the pattern and, you know, make sure that this prefix is included, right? We match that and there can be two conditions, either the word or, you know, either the code can start with dive one or it can have anything before, but then one of the words can start with dive one as well. And that is also a condition of type 1 diabetes right so that is why we include both the conditions and we re return everything else let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way or you can you know combine these two conditions in one single condition using regex let me know in the comment section how the solution will look like and until then i will see you guys in the next video